The ocean was more than five times as saline as it is today. 600 million years ago, the ocean gradually became less salty. Salt from seawater was relocated to the land in the form of rock salt. Decreasing sea levels made this possible through more exposed land. Even if seawater rose again high enough to reclaim the rock salt, most of it had become inaccessible, encased in sediments. The decrease in seawater salinity made the ocean more hospitable to diverse life forms. Estuaries and open seas welcomed new life. With increasing atmospheric oxygen levels, an ozone layer formed in the Earth's upper atmosphere. The ozone layer absorbs ultraviolet radiation from the sun. The land was becoming a more habitable environment. Algae was the first life form to transition out of the water onto the challenging land environment. This is why algae evolved before animals did. When insects appeared, they co-evolved together with plants. Appearing during the Cambrian explosion, fish were the first of the vertebrates, animals with backbones. Fish are the oldest vertebrate ancestors of us humans. As fish continued to evolve, Ichthyostega appeared, the ancestor of amphibians. Plants flourished, producing free oxygen through photosynthesis, providing the atmosphere with 1.5 times as much oxygen as it has today. Long after, the remains of these plants would become sedimentary coal. That coal would help fuel the remarkable breakthroughs for human civilization that started with the Industrial Revolution. Next, vertebrates equipped with lungs appeared and made their way onto land. The tree of life evolved, branching from fish to amphibians to reptiles and then dinosaurs and mammals, and eventually to humans. This guy hasn't found out about all that just yet. The solar system collided with a dark nebula. As the solar system passed through the nebula, the Earth was bombarded with cosmic rays. The Earth entered yet another frozen age. Plants were affected first, dramatically reducing the oxygen they supplied to the atmosphere. The surface environment reverted to an anaerobic state, like during the Archean period. The lack of oxygen killed off most species of amphibians, reptiles, and insects. Life managed to continue evolving, but faced another big challenge.
untouched by the evolutionary changes on the Earth's surface. Anaerobic microorganisms had been thriving in oxygen-poor underground environments. The new oxygen-poor surface environment allowed them to re-emerge on land and in oceans. Their native habitat expanded across the globe. As oxygen levels rose again, these microorganisms evolved to adapt to the new environmental conditions, setting the stage for another phase of evolution. The emergence of new creatures that would evolve into humans was close at hand.